Hello, this is Richard Price with High Tech Battery, and today we're going to be filling a conventional lead acid motorcycle battery, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, first, you're going to need a few things before you get started. You're going to need a pair of pliers to remove the caps from the battery, a pair of cutters, or even a pair of scissors in this case will work to uh, cut the top off the acid pack, a pair of safety glasses, and also a pair of gloves to protect your hands from the acid itself. So once you've acquired all those things, we can begin. So, first things first, safety up. Okay. Oh, and as a side note, I'm using two pieces of cardboard. You may want to lay down maybe a trash bag or something just in case some acid does spill out. It's not going to be a ton, but it's still going to be something that could possibly ruin a surface or strip the paint from something. So I'd always recommend using uh, something to catch the acid in case it does come out. So, remove the battery first. The nuts, bolts, and overflow tube, as well as the acid pack. So before you do anything, uh, we're going to remove this venting cap. This is very important. You never want to leave this on once the battery is filled. So remove that. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the actual caps of the battery. Anytime you're removing nuts, bolts, or any of the caps, I always like to put everything back in the box. That way you never lose it. Okay, now our battery is good to go. So now we'll be taking out the actual acid. Okay. So once you remove the acid from the plastic wrap here, you're going to see that it's melted off at the end so it can't come out. That's the part we're going to cut off, just the very top of it so the acid can flow freely. You're going to remove the acid tube here. Now when you're cutting this, it's very important that you're not putting pressure on this at all because as soon as you cut it, if you're squeezing it, acid will pour out. So hold it from the top of the pack and then cut off the top very carefully. like that, round it off, dig it squeezed. Okay, now you can attach your tube to the top of the acid pack. What this does is it's going to allow for a little easier pour into the battery itself. Now if you take a look at the top six cells, we're going to fill each, each individual cell up to this top line. There's two lines, one is called the lower line and then there's the upper fill line. We always want to hit the upper fill line that's going to cover the entire lead plate in acid, give it the maximum surface exposure. So to begin, you're going to hold the acid pack from the bottom, make sure you're not squeezing the bottle, and you're going to pinch it here so no acid will be able to leak out when you're tilting it to put it in the hole. So make sure you have a good squeeze here so no liquid can get past. Go ahead and put it in the first one. Now the acid is going to flow freely through the tube. If you want to speed this process up, you could squeeze the bottle gently there. And when you're done, you want to squeeze the tube prior to pulling it out and then pull it out and angle the pack back down. So we'll continue this.
All right, I'm going to finish filling this battery, and we're going to fast forward here till the very end. I'll talk to you then. Okay, we finished filling the battery, and we let it sit for about 15 minutes or so, uh, which is something you have to do in order to let the acid settle. Now, after the 15-minute period, check that upper level line one more time. Make sure all your cells are up to that line. After the 15-minute period, some of the acid will absorb into the spots that it wasn't getting into before, so you do want to double-check that. Now, we've already gone ahead and done that here, so the last step is going to be to put this battery on charge. Just because you fill the battery up with acid doesn't mean it's ready to go. The acid is positively charged, so it will bring the charge level of the battery up to around 40%, maybe 50%. Um, but you will need to place the battery on charge to get it up to the full 100. So for this, we're going to be leaving the caps off so the battery is well ventilated. And we're going to be using, just for the sake of our video here, the SeaTech US3300 charger. We're going to go ahead and hook that up. Typical charge time on these batteries depends on what type of charger you're using. If you're using a small trickle charger, it could take anywhere between 12 to 16 hours to fully charge up. If you're using a slightly higher rate charger like the US3300 or maybe even a NOCO G3500, you'd be able to pull this off in a few hours max. So always make sure you check the charger. All chargers are going to have a status indicator on there of when the battery is fully charged, ready to go. So I appreciate you watching this video, and that's how you fill a motorcycle battery.